my name is Arielle. Um, welcome back to my channel or if you haven't visited my channel, um, welcome for the first time. In October, I um, visited United Arab Emirates, specifically Dubai, um, which really is one of the major tourist and business hubs nowadays. Um, just because it has so much to offer, it has luxury shopping, hotels, restaurants, and you can forget about the beaches and also the desert as well. It is um, primarily a Muslim country. Um, that being said, um, United Arab Emirates and specifically Dubai has people from all over the world. So there is many other um, small pockets of other religions as well, um, including a small Jewish community. Um, I had a privilege while I was um, visiting Dubai to um, visit the Jewish Community Center um, that has now been established there and also interview Rabbi Levi Dutchman, um, who has been a really big part in starting the Jewish community in United Arab Emirates, mainly in Dubai and Abu Dhabi. Um, and he's just continuing to help it grow. Rabbi Levi Dutchman was born and grew up in Brooklyn, New York. As a Chabad and missionary, he moved to United Arab Emirates in 2015 to start a Jewish community in both Dubai and Abu Dhabi. Since then, he has established numerous places of worship, Jewish education, business connections, and overall richer Jewish community life in the United Arab Emirates. Arab Emirates Jewish community continues to grow and is now a robust and thriving community with communities both in Dubai and Abu Dhabi. And collectively, there are hundreds of members. We're standing here in the Jewish community center of Dubai. This, this center has been established well before the Abrahamic Accord because of course our Jewish community was here many many years prior to the Abrahamic Accord. Of course since the Abrahamic Accord there's been a tremendous increase of Jewish families moving not only from Israel but really from the rest of the world. And we have this beautiful Aaron Kodesh Ark which holds the Torah which we actually made here in the United Arab Emirates was built. Now if you look at this you have a very special prayer which if you want to come and zoom and look a little more, which is a prayer which we make for the UAE government. Now, if you look at this prayer, we say it both, all three in Hebrew, in Arabic, and in English. And this is a special prayer which we make for the welfare of the government and the UAE military forces. Now, we're going to just show you up here, which inside here we have what's called the Aram Kodesh. We have the Holy Torahs, which we have multiple Torahs in here. This is the Sephardic tradition of Torahs, holding it in these beautiful, beautiful boxes. And these are Torahs. This one comes from actually the Libyan community, from, from originally from Libya, now via Italy. This one came very special from Israel. So once again, we are very proud to have this community center. And from here, we service Jewish communities around the United Arab Emirates. Can you explain the Jewish community that's currently in Dubai? Our Jewish community in Dubai comes from many nationalities, come from Eastern Europe, North, North Africa, different countries from the Middle East, and of course, the America as well. And the community has some community members have been living here for many years, some up to 30 or 40 years. Others are, are newer families, and our community is, comes from really all different kinds of backgrounds of members of the community that come here to work and find different opportunities for them and their families. Thanks. Um, and I see that you um, started, like, online, I saw that you started the first um, Jewish community in Dubai. Um, can you explain that journey and how the community has grown? Yeah, so the, when we arrived in the UAE, there wasn't any kosher chicken or kosher available or any Jewish education or something, God forbid, happened. There was no, no burial service or even Jewish cemetery. And what we managed to do in, in just a few years was to build a, a strong, robust Jewish community with kosher restaurants, with kosher certification agency, with kosher made available, um, very good Jewish education for children from the age of just a few months old through their teenage age to be able to, to teach the children and share with them the values of, of Jewish tradition, culture, and religion. This is something which we are very proud of as a community to be able to provide to our children and to the families of our community here in the United Arab Emirates. 
And what made you want to start a Jewish community in Dubai? When I arrived here in Dubai, there was really nothing available in terms of, of the Judaism. Of course, we had Jew, uh, Jews living here, working here. And of course, the Rebbe always told us that it's our, our, our job to give this opportunity to Jewish people, to give the opportunity someone would like to fulfill a mitzvah, whether it's to make Kiddush on Shabbat, have access to kosher food, or whatever it may, may be. And this is something which is so important. If we could come and just do one small favor for another, this is, this is really what it's all about, and that is what community building is. Add value to a community. A community is about the members working together and building um, a brighter future for, for the children of our community and for future generations. So what our community now is focusing on is continuing to build the educational programs, the, the programs which, the cultural programs, to really ensure that we could build the proper community that will long-lasting community, really build something not only to last a few months or years, but really decades down the line that there should be a strong, robust Jewish community here in the United Arab Emirates. What does like being Jewish mean to you? If you look at the, the message of, of our forefathers and foremothers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Sarah, Rebecca, Leah, and Rachel, it was really this idea of two strong principles. Number one, is valuing every individual, that every individual is important. There's no such a thing as a random person. Rather, every individual, no matter what his background is, has a specific purpose to accomplish in the world. And the day that person was born was the day God decided that the world cannot exist without them. And the second principle is that every small deed, even something very small, which you might think is small, has an infinite impact. Um, not can have, but actually does have. So when you do a small favor for someone, or, or you go out of your way to help someone, or do even a small mitzvah, this has tremendous impact. And I think putting these two principles together of valuing every individual, and valuing every individual deed, this is really something which could bring tremendous impact and have the triumph of light over darkness.